Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about scheduled cloud flow in Power Automate. If you want to schedule any flow on a daily basis, hourly, minutes or even monthly or weekly, then you can use this flow. For example, you want to send a motivational message to your team or a daily good morning message to your team on a daily basis, you can use that flow. So I'll take you to the system and I'll tell you how step by step we will create a flow which will trigger a email message to a team's group uh, just to remind that there is a meeting every Friday. So let's go to the system. As I said, we will create a scheduled flow which will trigger an email every week, let's say on Friday. And uh, this will send a, let's say, a happy Friday message to in a Microsoft Teams group. So what I'll do now is I'll go to the browser and then we will create the flow. So I'll open the browser here. So I'll go here and I will type make.powerautomate.com and then it will open the Power Automate homepage. Make sure you have logged in. If not, then it will ask you to enter the credential. And then once you enter, you, you will come to this page. Now here you will see here, click on create plus create button. And then you see here, uh, this is the scheduled cloud flow. Now click over here. So I'll give the flow name as Happy Friday flow. And on this, uh, you can uh, see various options are available. Repeat every one minute, or you can even uh, check various options here like month. So if you want every month, the flow will trigger on starting from this. Or you can uh, say weekly, uh, which we are, we will do. And then you have day also, if you want the flow to trigger, trigger daily. Let's say, suppose you want to do something or you want to say uh, a good morning message daily into the group, then you can choose this option. And you have also our minute or second option chart there. So when you will choose week, you can see here it is asking us or you can select on which date basically you want to do. So for example, I want this to be triggered on every Friday. So I choose this option and then click on create. So once you click on create, you can see here now there is a recurrence action has been added. And if you click on this, you have this option. You can click on edit and you can check, change the other option if you want to change it, right? So you can do that uh, over here. Now, next what I will do is I'll click on plus new step. And here I want to uh, send a message to uh, the Teams group. So you can search for send message or uh, you can even if you search for Microsoft Teams, you will be able to see all the uh, flow action. So suppose you will select here flow action. You can see you will be able to see all the flow actions which are available. So you can see uh, post a message in a chat or channel. You can see this one uh, uh, over here. And then uh, there is a lot of other uh, actions that you can uh, choose from here as well. Right. So. Uh, I will select uh, this one, like post a message in a chat or channel. And then uh, you want to, as a user, you want to uh, post it or as a flow bot. So I'll uh, choose as a user and then post in. And here, if you will see, it will ask you where you want to uh, post it. You want to post in a channel or in a chat. So in this case, I will select a group chat. So I will just select the group chat here. And now you can see here, once you say a group, once you select group chat, it will show me the group chat ID. So I will select the group chat. So I will, it will load all the group chats which, which you have. I'll select the particular one. You can see I have selected TS Info team group and the message I will put here, let's say happy Friday. And uh, then if you'll see here, I have this flow is completed. So what it will do is every Friday, it will send this uh, starting with uh, this uh, this week Friday. So now what we will do is I will uh, save this flow and then we will just uh, check it manually once whether the flow is triggering or not. Once this flow is triggering, then if you'll save it, then uh, it will uh, every Friday, it will trigger automatically. Right. So if I'll just click on test here, you can see we have to see it, this manually click on test and then run flow. So once you run the flow, then uh, the message should come in the Microsoft Teams. Let me just open it. 
I'll go here. I will just choose the teams up. I'll open in a new tab. And you can see this is the creation for team group. And uh, then you can see the IP fighter message is already appear over here. Now you can save this flow and uh, which we already already saved and then uh, uh, you can go to my flows and you will be able to see the flow. This is the flow and you can see this is scheduled. It is active and the, uh, if you want to uh, turn off this flow, you can select and then turn off this. We can create a scheduled cloud flow in Power Automate. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want similar kind of videos in Power Automate, Power Ops or Power BI or in fact in SPFX and SharePoint, then subscribe to our YouTube channel where you will get all these videos uh, very frequently. And also if you want any specific video then you can put in the comment and I will try to make the videos for you. Thank you and have a nice day.